Hello and welcome to a review video, this time in TT120 from Hornby. And today we'll look at the uh, eagerly long-awaited Class 08. So let's get it out of the box. Now the model is a DCC ready and a minimum recommended radius for it is 310 millimeters. I'm not actually sure what radius that is, but I suspect second radius in my head. Um, could be wrong about that. All right, so let's put the box to one side. All right, let's get the local out. Very nicely tightly packed, so there's no risk of it uh, getting loose being thrown around during transit. Uh, so we have included, as always, your instruction and maintenance sheet. How to do routine maintenance, running hints, and oiling points. Uh, as can be seen on the diagram here, uh, pictures on where to put all the detailing parts if you'd like to detail the loco up. How to unscrew the loco, how to fit a DCC chip, and Keep, keep that safe. So here we are, the 08. Let's slide it out the sleeve. And on top here we've got the um, extra detailing parts. So we have couplings, air pipes, air tanks in there. Some more packaging. All right, let's get out the actual packaging now. And as things I notice, it's well detailed. So let's bring it up closer to the camera and I'll try and get many close up shots as I can. So there is a wealth of detail in this, especially looking at the rivets like down here. I mean, I'm not really bothered if there are rivets or not. Um, I'm not hugely bothered about massive, massive details, but I'd like to see a bit of detail at least. But Hornby have certainly have got the detail really good on this. The paint livery is sharp, looking between the yellow and black on the wash stripes. Yeah. Got a nice shiny whistle out the cap. And this one is 08489, as... Um, we can clearly see on the side there. And then just looking at the back. The only thing I'm unsure about, if I was to pick up one thing, is I would have just surprised the uh, lamps on the back are blue. But until I've looked at any pictures, I don't actually know if the uh, 08s ran like that. But I guess some did, some didn't. Every 08 might have been different in diesel depots. So yeah. Now that looks really good. We've got nice sand pipes, got the brake rigging up. Um, underneath we can see the coupling springs. Um, and pickups, nice easy access to oil cogs, which is always a benefit when they're exposed like that, I think. Just hopefully saves having to take the locos apart, which is not something I like doing. Um, yeah. No, that's uh, superb detailed. You've got the sunroof open so we've obviously modelled it for a hot day and the sun is out at the moment as I'm reviewing this and it is warm so perfect if there was a driver in there to keep cool. So yeah I think what we should do now is uh, run an in procedure so let's go get it on the track. Right so now we've got it on the track let's, um, let's see how good it is. So, let's see, is there any life in it going this way? Yep. Let's see if it goes forwards. Hmm, brilliant. That's already quite smooth already. Also just checked in the um, operating manual uh, just how long Hornby recommend you run these models in for. And with this one, they'd like you to run it in for half an hour in each direction. So let's give it a whirl and uh, see how it does. I think we'll go backwards first. Uh, no, actually we'll go forwards. 
set. So we'll let that run round for half an hour each way and see how it does. So some things I've noticed already with it running, it's quiet, it is smooth, but it'll probably be a bit smoother in a minute after I run it in, because obviously it's going to be a bit tight. So yeah, we'll let her have a running in time now. Now that the engine has finished running in, I think it's time to put it to good use and see how good at shunting it is in model form. So what we'll do, I've got a coach over there on the side in, another one over there, two here. So I think we'll uh, marshal a train up and give it a nice run around the circuit and uh, see how well it runs at a crawl. As we're going to get the fourth coach, I'm going to do a little trial on it and see how well it crawls over the Inso Frog points. And this might help answer some questions for people whether they know they can use Inso Frog points on their layout without locos with short wheel bases like this stalling. And it's done all right going across those ones. Um, we'll tell you earlier when running it through this one, it did stall a few times, but no, it's uh, successfully gotten through that one. So let's bring the 08 back now with the coach. Oh, didn't make it that time. Let's give it a tiny nudge. So we'll do another crawl through the crossover here and see how it does with the Inso Frog points again. Ah, not quite. So it struggles through the Inso Frog points on this one. So that's something to bear in mind if you're building a layout. Um, you want to do slow speed running with the shunters like this. It might be worth using Electro Frog points from Pico. Um, yes, let's see how it does with a haulage test now. So I've got, now uh, let's give it a haulage test. I've got four Mark 1s behind it. Let's see how it does. Try and go forwards first, I think. So he's already pulling off, no problems, no slipping, no hesitation. So that's gone quite well. Oh, stalled through the points again. Might need to speed it up just a little bit just so it can make it through. Right, all that's left now to do is me to give my conclusion on, on this engine. Um, what will I say? Well, it's very well detailed. Has no running issues at all. Colour is sharp. Paint job is superb. The haulage capacity is fine. There's no slipping at all on any of my tests. Other than that, I think the loco is absolutely superb and i highly am pleased with it so if you're thinking about buying a ttoa then yeah i would say they're worth buying they are planning to bring them out in two other liveries as well db red and gbrf i don't think those two have arrived yet it's only the br blue one that's available but yeah no i'm more than pleased with what all we have done with this model and i look forward to more TT stuff coming out from Hornby in the future. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for looking, and I'll see you on the next one.